3, 2, 1. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video today. Now I'm going to talk to you about a specific person in Indonesian brutal death metal. Uh, his name Daniel Mardani. I know you're a fan of the fucking Star Wars too. So by the force be with you, Danny. I'm just going to talk to you guys about this person. Just came out from prison not long ago over some stupid bullshit smoking some marijuana or some shit. But uh, that's not that's not the reason why I'm gonna talk about him at the moment. Daniel Mardani is a one hell of a fucking frontman that I know. He is he's in about two bands if I was wrong, one of them fucking some most pretty brutal death metal stuff. Then he was joining the band it's called uh Dead Squad. Now at the Dead Squad, Daniel Mardani is rise above that what he is uh, I was watching his video interview the other day with Mr. Soleh Soleh some shit like that not 100% sure what his name but god damn the man is a fucking legend man I love everything that he talk how he talk everything about him is amazing I mean my friend uh, Johnny Cobra tell me before about how cool is this person but that time I didn't know him that well I didn't you know, I wasn't into their band that time, but the more I listen to his fucking performing, he is, you know, I'm gonna tell, you know, this is the series, I'm gonna tell you about the Indonesian performers, like Daniel Mardani. My God, you know, I mean, Indonesian is amazing place for a music. As the biggest metal band in the world has come from Indonesia. I mean, the Indonesian metal scene is dominate the world at the moment. No bullshit, you know what I mean? I mean, like, back in the day, this come from Europe and Scandinavia and all that. But if you look at by the number, look at us. What the people, the largest city or nation in the world. I mean, like, how many people of us in Indonesia? And then, like, that squad fronted by him, by Daniel Mardani, rise above. I know they went to Japan and some other different country in the world. But my point is in here. Daniel Mardani is it's like a how do I explain this to you? He is like a fucking uh Oji Osborne uh to Black Sabbath or Bruce Dickinson to fucking Aaron Maiden. I mean you just can't replace him. You know, I'm watching the new singer, I mean no disrespect to the to the singer, the new singer in that, in uh, that squad. I mean, I got a few of the songs that he's sending to me before he joined this band from about five years, four, three or four years ago. He's sending me some video, uh, some uh, YouTube of his band. <coughs> Pardon me, give me a second. But my point is in here. After I watching that interview, Of Daniel Mardani with that Mr. Sole the other day to me <coughs> it's proven 
the man is number one Indonesian frontman. Yes, I know that's still alive. You lost to our Ivan Hermansia or Scambeck from Burger Kill. He is one of the best, but yes, from the past. But to the present day now, no one can replace Daniel Mardani. He is one of the best and most talented fucking frontmen come from Indonesia. He's, he's, he's the Indonesian Pilan Selmo back in the heyday, you know what I mean? Not many people of you guys know that, but fuck me, God. Look at these guys. <laughs> Daniel Vardani, fuck you, metal. man have a very distinct style i mean like you can recognize it straight away and metal is such a hard things to have that kind of connection with the with you know with the frontman you know and you can just can tell that it's like fuck you know like he's honest from his heart but just like smash the fucking side you know them smash the song go through himself it just to me you're a luke skywalker my friend you're the best fucking really killer i love that fucking stuff that you did congratulations man i mean not congratulations uh I support you, man. 100%. Your band to the future, the band I've been waiting. And I will looking forward to see your next project. Everything that you do, anything that you touch is gold. I know you are. All right.